Hi everyone and welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports in Air Ontario. Today we're looking at the information you need to ride, how it's displayed on the dash and how that's changed over the years. In the early days of the sport, there were no gauges at all. You were just happy if these old single cylinder fan cooled center mounted engines even ran at all. Speed, engine performance wasn't an issue, you just wanted to ride. In 1971-72, sledders just didn't want to know how fast they were going. They also want to know how fast the engine was spinning. You got a speedo and you got a tack. At some point, the manufacturers were trying to figure out whether people wanted gauges at all. Sometimes you just got stickers on a base model sled. You didn't even get a real speedo or tack. Sometimes you just got a speedo. And sometimes, if it was a moto ski, you got that speedo both in kilometers and miles per hour at the same time on the same gauge. In the 80s and the 90s, it was the era of the big gauges, the big tack and the big speedometer. Yeah, there were a few lights thrown in there too for stuff like your, oh, your temperature and your oil level, but the big tack and the big speedo were real handy. This was the era of the big twins and the big triples and those big lake speeds. You needed big gauges to see what was happening when you're flying down the lake. The little riders in your family, they wanted a dash display as well. It may only have been stickers, but the information looked really cool. The information relayed to today's rider is much different than it was in the past. Years ago, all the person wanted to know was, is the engine running and how fast is the sled going? Today's modern rider wants to monitor so much more. And with so many accessories, that has to be displayed on the gauge package as well. Handlebar temperatures, engine, navigation systems, communication systems. There's so much more on the gauge packages on today's motorsports. The gauge cluster on a snowmobile has gone through a lot of changes over the decades. Today's rider not only wants to be tuned in with what they're riding, but also the world around them. Now that gauge cluster has also influenced the riders of spiders, off-road vehicles, and personal watercraft. So the entire spectrum of BRP products now has a gauge cluster that relays all the information today's modern rider wants. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports. Remember to like, share, comment on all our videos on our YouTube channel. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.